attention this is a video like no other experienced becoming the perfect being a theory a thesis worthy of testing hello and welcome I am clever sausage let me ask you a question let me pose you a question have you ever come across anyone that claims to be a perfected being or perfect being he has the perfect DNA etc well I have by that I mean I have come across one who made those very claims and I have also come across ancient Sumerian Arcadian Babylonian cuneiform texts that speak of a created perfect being i.e. an Adamite when discovered quote performing with the animals inappropriately unquote as he had no mate no female companion or helper as stated about Adam in the Bible's book of Genesis the Adamite was scolded by the gods and told he should stop not be doing that or what he was doing as he was created the perfect being or an Adamite okay, in regards to this person that I came across that claimed that he he was an Adamite that he had perfect DNA but he wouldn't show the proof that or the results as evidence when he did a DNA test he said he had no mixed blood he wasn't a mamza or mongrel okay he shall remain nameless for privacy reasons uh, yeah he refused to show his evidence even though I prodded him and suggested you know uh, back up your claim I have read online a statement on a website uh, quite a few years back by a top geneticist who stated no one has perfect DNA as all or human beings DMA, DNA is flawed so I came to it with a conclusion that this may be correct I also recall the Bible stating all human beings have inherited sin from our first parents Adam and Eve we are born with sin therefore we have it passed on to us down the ages by Adam and Eve through our parents okay it would be something either hidden in, hidden in our DNA genetic makeup or blood and you know, I'm also reminded of the old saying for my parents my peers etc no one is perfect there is no such thing as the perfect being well are not the various religions via their holy books traditions rituals etc et striving to be just that the perfect being or a perfected being why not try strive to become a perfected being at least give it a go what have you got to lose you've got anything to lose you can be if you only take action that's the key the steps to becoming that's the means right if you don't take action you won't become if you don't try you'll never know if you can be could be or could never be or will never be okay so these are just general thoughts that I've had in my mind over the last couple of days and I wrote them down okay uh, I'm becoming a perfected being I'm becoming the perfected being or a perfected being discover uncover the exact steps in doing so examples of people striving to be perf to be perfect don't women these days take steps i.e. as the Kardashians do to look perfect physically 24-7-365 do men not also try to look 
perfect by working out, priming themselves, making themselves prim and proper to look like the latest celebs, etc. in order to attract the opposite or same sex. We, no matter whether religious or non-religious, tend to try to make ourselves appear better than we actually are, or can be, do we not? We are often deemed vain creatures. There's probably a quote out there along those lines. So how does one become a perfected being? Example, if there is a common law which states a person cannot pick overhanging fruit, fruit hanging on their side of the fence because it is on the branches of a tree grown whose roots are in the soil on their neighbour's side of the fence. So would one, being tempted, say, I don't care, I'll pick the fruit, as it's only going to go to waste right on the tree. No one will know. No one will know it was me, as no one will be around when I pick it. I don't care. And then they'll tell you, don't try to be a goody-goody two-shoes, because you never become perfect. No one's perfect. No one can become perfect. And you would look, be looked upon as a no good two, goody two shoes, an idiot, a fool, a lunatic, delusional, etc. People won't like that you're claiming to be a perfect being or a perfected being. Or would you obey that set, fixed law, common law, or other, and refrain from breaking it? Breaking it. Would you go and ask the neighbour if you can pick that fruit because it might rot on the tree and go to waste, etc only to face the neighbour who may tell you, no, you cannot. Whether they're being biased, prejudiced, racist or whatever, they've just been a total P-R-I-C-K. That is his or her right as they own the tree growing on their side of their fence, on their property, regardless if they uh, originally planted it or not. Because they're the resident or of that or the owner of the house of that on that property okay some religious types may jump up and say oh it's like you're trying to follow the ten commandments or trying to keep the ten when it's written you are not safe by keeping those laws you've done away with they've been annulled are not binding on christians and anyway it's written if you break one of those laws you're guilty of breaking them all. No one can keep the first law. <clears throat> Jesus or Paul said so. So there. You're saved through grace, not by abiding by those ten laws or the other 613 priestly laws or Levite laws. Okay. According to St. Paul in the New Testament, that's what Paul said. No, 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 no. Yet Jesus himself stated, not one iota, Tittle will be changed in regards to the law, and he didn't come to abolish the law but to fulfill it. And anyone who teaches another to ignore it or to break them will be accountable. Okay, and so forth, so forth. That depends on how you translate it, how you interpret it. Everyone has a different interpretations of those biblical verses. So, one who doesn't follow set laws, be they biblical, universal, mental, physical, spiritual or other, cannot boast that they are a righteous, holy children of God if they break a biblical set law, God's fixed laws, and also the government, common laws, etc. Here's an example. If you allow illegal activity or activities to be done within your household, are you not breaking the laws? Knowing that you know, there's certain laws like you can't you know, have illegal substances, uh, consume illegal substances in your house, right? Because they're deemed illegal, against the law, prohibited, etc. Okay, here's a second example. If it is deemed that you can't download illegal copies of shareware, due to copyright law, etc., via a torrent site, are you not a lawbreaker if you do so? P. 
people will argue, well, you know, we're just sharing it. So like someone has put up there and they got the license to use it and it goes on and on and on. So one cannot boast they are a 100% law-abiding citizen or a holy, holy, righteous person, Christian, whatever, if they wink, turn the head and ignore the set laws, fixed laws, right? common law. Many will say, what the hell? Why are you even bothering to do that? Or to do this? Because it can be done. Anything is possible if you take, just take action. Test it and put it into effect. Do the research. Discover, uncover the keys and tools in order to succeed. If at first you fail, try, try again. Because failure is just the failure to succeed you've always got another chance to do it again but this time get it right so how do you propose that one can become a perfected being well that would be telling so subscribe below to my channel give us a thumb up tell us in the comment section do you like our video concept share it with your friends grandma etc and if we get a satisfactory number of subscribers, this will inspire us to bring you part two. How you can become a perfected being. The secret keys and tools. This was a creative concept. A thesis brought to you by Clever Sausage.